Yeah. I mean, do you, I, I know I feel it when I see it as pre COVID and post COVID, right? Pre COVID, we had a lot of, you know, kind of the users always were coming into the office and, and having that in office experience. COVID hit and immediately there was a response of everybody's got to figure out how to work remotely, right? And everybody did respond to that. And now we're kind of evolving into kind of like the next phase is just how do we optimize that experience? What do we do to make that user be able to have that hybrid workforce? And hybrid workforce is coming up quite often, right? It really is. And to that point, that next phase, I think what the pandemic drove us to is ready, fire, aim, let's work out of the office and the borderless office was born. We could all be connected. I mean, people were more productive than ever and it was great, but like you said, nobody optimized anything and now we're paying a fairly heavy technical debt of just shooting everybody out of the office and now how do we get our data back? How do we get our users to be in a place where they can seamlessly come into the office or work from home without having to have multiple logins and a different experience? They want a you know single sign-on, optimized, fluid, seamless, borderless office. And that really is this phase now. And I think that is probably the the bulk of our conversations today. You know, oops, we hurried up four years ago. Now what do we do? <laughs> so And I know when we when we sometimes we boil it down for customers to kind of like the, the three main talk talking points. We've talked about, and you already hit on a couple of them, right? Identity, the data, and the device, right? That that kind of trifecta of really what makes up a digital workplace. And there's a whole lot of other aspects, collaboration tools and application delivery solutions. But really when you boil it down to identity, data, and device, you know, where where does somebody start, you know, by having those conversations? I mean, where do we, where do we want to start with conversation on that? Well, that's kind of, that's a heavy question because we have a lot of, there's so many different requirements in this space. You could have an organization that has a concern with contractors or remote workers. And if somebody is terminated or leaves for another position or, you know, retires, how do you get the data back? How do you get the device back? So we have a number of concerns around securing the endpoint, endpoint management, preventing data exfiltration. There are a number of concerns around that. At the same time, we could have somebody say, we just acquired a business and we brought this new business unit on of a thousand employees and everybody's complaining because it's slow and unusable. So uh, where <laughs> where do we focus or what's driving this? I think it's it's a lot. And the lazy consulting answer, it depends. I'll try not to say those two <laughs> words again on this call, but <laughs> uh, it really does. I know, it really does because every organization is always in a different uh, stage in what they're doing with their digital workplace, right? I think that's important for a lot of our customers to understand is like, there's no there's no one way of getting to a optimized digital workplace strategy. It's about understanding your current state and kind of evolving and iterating through different versions. So you talked about security, like that's a, that's a big piece of this, right? Because now that potentially this hybrid workforce is using uh, personal devices or a mix of personal and corporate devices, security is a big deal. Um, I know you've talked about experience a lot, right? Maybe you can talk about experience of why does this matter for for customers and for our clients? Well, uh, digital employee experience or DEX is very, it's a, it's a hot topic now in, in end user computing. And it really in, I'd say any, any workforce in general now, because employees have been empowered really the pandemic showed employers that employees can leave they can go wherever they want there is a there is always a need to hire skilled people in your organization whether you're in it manufacturing biotech big tech it, it doesn't matter where you work if you have skills you're in demand 